Hello, good morning from Paxa Rupiana. Here is Günther speaking in front of Austrian Palace of Justice and I call for justice. European, Austrian justice for all those people who sold us out to Russia in the last 15 years. Yeah? They took money from Russia for their political parties, for their personal benefit, for claiming uh, to be working for the benefit of the Austrian consumer and taxpayer and energy consumer. In reality, they were filling their pockets. They were doing a lot of shadowy deals between Russia uh, and uh, between Austria. And they served the interest of Putin and they harmed the European taxpayers' interest and the Austrian taxpayers' interest and the energy computer very, very hard. Now we have huge losses with the Nord Stream 2. We have <clears throat> now Nord Stream 1 even has some problems. So it was never a good idea to rely on Russia anyhow. Then the OMV oil fields in Siberia, a major disaster financially. It was promised to be good business. In reality, this was only good business for those who got the commission when they did the deal and all the lawyers and the consultants and politicians involved. But for the Austrian taxpayers, for the Austrian uh, consumer, for the shareholders OMV, it is an absolute disaster. <laughs> and they all should be brought to justice. Additionally, the party financing. And the party financing, we have to also question the party financing of Van der Bellen's uh, campaign in 2016. We have to question the 2017 and 2019 party financing of Sebastian Kurz. And this must all be investigated seriously and clearly. Because where did all this money come? From Fiatas, from uh, Deripaska, ultimate, ultimately ordered by Putin uh, to uh, order his systems and on his orders basically. So this must all be questions and there must be a committee for investigation here in the parliament over there and also a justice process where all these things is investigated. And I'm not getting tired to explain again. We need a European justice system which is above the member states which is not talking only about EU relevant, EU regulation, EU funding, EU taxpayers money. No, 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 no. It must be a full FBI control where in cases of relevance and European relevance, the FBI, like in terror, organized crime and political criminality and uh, political corruption, the FBI of Europe has the right and the Department of Justice and of course the Supreme Court of Europe, they all have to be given these powers to take it off the Euro, um, national um, system, work above them and then investigate Maltese political justice, Slovak political justice and also Romanian and also Austrian. <laughs> Because as we see in Austria, especially in the field of our complicity with Russia, and yes, Mr. Leitler, I mean you, Mr. Schüssel, I mean you, Mr. Spindelecker, I mean you, Mr. Van der Bellen, I mean you, Mr. Kern, Mr. Gusenbauer, Mr. Franitzky, who else? Yeah? They are all in the service of Russia. <laughs> Feynman indirectly with his uh, consulting company, they work directly or indirectly, I don't want to and Kneisel, that don't forget Kneisel, who else of the big guys? This is the big group, uh, basically. But it's mainly orchestrated uh, by Schüssel. He is the real mastermind of all this. And of course, then you have Sele as his executor in the OMV, and you have various others in Raiffeisen Bank as well, unfortunately, which are involved in exactly these things. Yeah? And that's very problematic, deeply problematic. And it has lost uh, our shareholders and our whole taxpayers billions of euros now and it will come out over time <laughs> you will see it's a similar bad business like working with the soviet union in the past when they were making so many state guarantee loans in first and in the state-owned industry and then the taxpayers after the collapse had to pay huge amounts uh, and it was never profitable if you make the overall calculation same is true now with all this Russian business uh, since 2004 and 6, yeah, since uh, the Austrians went against the Orange Revolution and uh, went into the service of Putin by doing so. And Putin significantly bought the Austrian elite uh, since uh, by basically getting them off the uh, Orange uh, track. They were never too happy about the Orange anyway. But so basically that is the start of the problem with the loss of power of Schüssel and the uh, uh, move to the east. Yeah? And um, yeah, the so socialists were always with the, with the 
um, Russians and of course the nationalist uh, friends of Putin in Austria are a complete disaster. So all this must be investigated, but we also need a European level kind of justice system to be above the Austrian justice system because the Austrian justice system alone is not able to really manage the European level, um, the, the political crimes. Yeah? This is not possible. Because, man, they're doing some effort and I applaud Mrs. Sadic to do it, but it's not enough and they cannot cope with it because still then you are the minister, you are dependent politically and you have all this kind of um, uh, constraints. Yeah? There must be a European level investigative authority and justice authority, a European prosecutor with real powers, not only for that limited like we have EPO now. There must be the FBI, they have the investigative uh, police authority and also then the Department of Justice. And as all we have it in America, it copy it one to one and give the same powers like the DOJ, the FBI and uh, the uh, general attorney. All these powers must be given to the European level and then they can go and open up all the boxes in uh, Bucharest, in Sofia and in Austria and in France and in Marbella. <laughs> You know, there is, and in Italy, there is a lot of uh, problems in Western Europe as well, in Southern Europe, in political corruption. There is a lot in the new member states, we know that now very well, and there is a lot as well in the nine new countries to come. So, also because we always have this concern about corruption in the new countries, absolutely there is this problem, absolutely the kind of collusive core the nexus between power, politics, economy is a big problem in, even in America. <laughs> but they have, of course, the institutions to cope with it to some extent at least. They can also be better, no doubt. Yeah? So this is a big issue, but the way to solve it in a big federal union is to have it on the European level and then to investigate. And of course, then to see sector by sector where are the big problems. I mentioned in organized criminality, of course, it is the big problem already, the <coughs> question of, uh, of uh, um, drug-related money. So you have to go into the debt market, liberalize it and uh, make sure there is less incentive to be illegal. That's one sector. You have to fight against human trafficking, absolutely. But uh, one sector where the, and you have to formalize the construction sector, you have re to reduce taxes to have all these things I mentioned already in good economics helps a lot to reduce uh, corruption. Also, then you have to make more transparency. Austria has not the best cadastre system. You need to have transparency in the asset registers. Uh, that's very important. Openness, transparency in the credit register, in the personal data, in the income data, in the tax data. All these things are much better in the Northern European countries. And we have much more transparency in some of the reform countries in the land ownership which is hugely important in terms of assets, of course, the land ownership and the company register, the tax register, the interoperability of the systems uh, to avoid tax evasion and so on and so on. This is all hugely important. Yeah? But of course, what is very important here in the energy sector, because it's such a crucial sector in the economic world. And there, of course, it must be that the European Union purchases energy centrally in the gas area, in uh, the uranium area, in the area of um, the big items, yeah, not everything. I don't call for. I call for a European state-owned uh, energy utility. Yes, absolutely. I call also, and I'm not an etatist. Don't get me wrong, but we have it all state-owned anyhow, and it's much better to pool all the state assets into one big one, and then maybe partly privatize it. Much better. So it, additionally, then the gas purchases must be done centrally yeah? because we need a one buyer one customer principle there's not so many sellers anyhow they are all state owned as well so europe must buy the energy united in one big swoop yeah? yearly auctions uh, who is buying and we have a joint demand and then we can distribute it on a competitive basis uh, operations can be the distributions can be all privatized let's privatize some of these things it's also mostly anyhow state owned but the central purchases, what comes in with the few pipelines that go into Europe from Azerbaijan, from Algeria, from Norway, Norway can be part of that system and uh, the landing of the LNGs and of course the Russian pipelines, I say cut them, but we certainly seems not to, to be able to do it, but at least buy it centrally into one price and uh, to have one system for all and it's much better for the consumer and then you can also cap it and you have a much better position towards Gazprom 
which uh, seems to be the wish to continue to buy from them. But it's a much um, a better system if we then buy it by the European Commission for all consumers and then share it according to demand by the, um, by the privatized operators. Yeah? This is the much better system and then we have much less politicians inside. They all are bought by Putin. In all big consumer countries, Putin gives them kickbacks into the political system and this must be investigated centrally. It's outrageous <laughs> that we have this system still ongoing today and all these people who took money from Putin in the last 15 years have to be brought to justice. That's my call here at the Austrian Palace of Justice. Historic building, by the way. Can you see it in the sun? It is one of the big buildings of the Austrian history. When it was burned, it uh, was a big crisis in 1927, I think it was in my spontaneous history recollection. It's a very nice building here. We are in the Justice District uh, here and I hope that Alma Sadic will do a lot to improve justice in this country. But Europe must be coming to her help and we must clean up all the mess of the past. Thanks a lot for that, for justice in Austria and for cleaning up the European energy system and the political system by European level justice authorities, the European FBI. Best regards. Bye.